All right, welcome to this video. Today I'm gonna to be hanging a porch swing that we received for Christmas. You can see it's sitting up here right now. My goal is to center it between this post and this post. I've got a vinyl ceiling on the port, um, which has given me some difficulty so far. I was originally going to strip back what I needed to expose the, the structural elements to hang this thing. I got started doing that and it was splitting on me a little bit and to avoid damaging it too much and having to find a matching ceiling to put back in its place if I damage it, I'm going to go up into the attic and try to work from there and install some structural pieces that I need in order to hang this thing and have it centered the way that I want. Um, one of my issues is it's going to be getting it centered. I want it centered between this and this and I don't have a member that runs like this connecting to the trusses um, in the dead center. I've got them spaced but the spacing is just offset um, to where that's not going to work for me. So let's go ahead jump into the attic here and I'll try to explain this a little bit better. But I'd like to preface by saying I'm not a licensed structural engineer. I'm just a DIYer. I'm not a carpenter. So take whatever you see in this video with a grain of salt. I'm not recommending you do it like this. I'm just simply describing how I'm going to do it and hopefully take you guys through the process. And if it works for me, maybe it'll work for you, but take what I say here with a grain of salt. All right, so as you can see, I've made it into the attic up here and I've worked my way all the way to the end of the house that I need to be at. And I've got these, I guess they're baffles to help with airflow and separate the insulation in the attic from the porch, which is not insulated. And uh, one way that I'm locating where I'm at in relation to where I was just at down there on the porch are these can lights. I don't know if you can see it there. So that's one of the lights that's on the porch. And I'm also gonna have to work to avoid that, but um, as you can see at one point I had started peeling back that vinyl ceiling and that's actually helping me out a little bit as far as knowing where I'm at as well. I'm gonna have to crawl back down unfortunately and get my tape measure. Um, that's the one thing I forgot. I carried a Sawzall screwdriver, a couple pieces of a camera equipment up here because what I'm gonna do is remove a couple sheets of this. One somewhere in here and then one right in here in this can light area so that I have a little bit of access to this because what I'm going to have to do is put a, uh, a cross member which there already is it's kind of like a, a furring strip but it's a 2x4 and it's turned the wrong direction I want a 2x4 that's vertically connected into these trusses and Preferably if I can hit one of these trusses to help anchor my brackets I'm gonna try to do that as well, but it, it should make a little bit more sense what I'm planning on here in a minute Once I get these um, plywood sheets out of the way I'm just gonna like I said cut through a couple of them and then reinstall them once I'm done working I'll go ahead and throw a like a little bit of a diagram up here on the screen just to help visualize what I'm shooting for here But I've pre-measured the space in between the first two posts um, so that I can get centered and then you basically subtract the width of your swing, which I have a four foot swing. And I've seen recommendations on the internet where your brackets are gonna be two inches wider on each side of the swing. So I'm looking at 52 inches in width. Yeah, basically, I mean, you just subtract out your 52 inches from your, which uh, 148 inch spacing between posts and that's going to give you whatever number you come up with and then you divide by two to get your first um, spacing but it's going to be somewhere over here in this region all right so what's most important i would say here initially just to get started is to get your width across like this, find the center, which is also kind of indicated over here by this can light. It is pretty much centered on the porch exactly where I want it. So that's just kind of giving me a, a hint as to where I need to be. But I went ahead, measured across. I was 67 and a half 
so I divided by that divided that by two that put me at 33.75 and that's where I went ahead and made a mark here on both sides you can see there and there so I'm gonna now I'm gonna need the depth and I've already measured this once but I want my the bottom of my board to be right here flush with this vinyl ceiling so that my bracket will fasten in the right spot because if it's if I'm trying to get up here to this elevation my bracket would almost have to be recessed which I guess you could do that if you wanted to notch out a spot but I went ahead and measured down to the top and that gives me five and three quarters of an inch pretty much to the top of this board so I went ahead and got a two by six and I believe that's gonna fill that space perfectly so I've got my markings that way to center it on the porch now to center it between the two posts I've kind of made a mark already but um, that will be a little more self-explanatory once we get this cross member put in here. Now all I had to do was measure from here to here across. Now I'm going to go down in the garage and cut my 2x6 and it's going to be oriented vertically and that's going to give you the most strength along that uh, axis there, the, the strong axis you should call it. Instead of this, if it's oriented this way it's not going to have as much strength as if you stand it vertically kind of like these pieces are. Vertical 2x6, cross, get it fastened and then we'll figure out where we need to go from there. All right, so I've I ran into a little bit of an issue here, and I'm lucky I caught it now. Um, but what I was originally planning on to center this swing between a post here and a post out here on the porch is not going to work because it's going to throw me basically into no man's land over there with that can light. That can light's going to be in the way. So what I'm getting at here is once I measure off that first post and find the space across my first bracket which is at four feet that's okay it was gonna put me somewhere right here in this region but once I go further accounting for the width of the swing and then the width the extra two inches outside the swing for the bracket it's throwing me out here into this can light so that's gonna be no good and what I'm gonna do is use this truss here to start with so that's gonna be my controlling piece and then I'll just use that get my first bracket in here and then I'll measure off the width across here that I needed. So it will throw me into this, this gap. Um, so that can light kind of hurt me in this case. The only thing that this is gonna do is throw it off center a couple inches. And with it being four to four and a half feet wide, I don't think it's really gonna be that big of a deal. So we're gonna go ahead and get uh, this piece. They'll try to get it installed and then we'll work our way across to the right now. ran into another issue. Don't you just love getting up here in your attic on a Saturday and thinking things are gonna go smoothly? Just like you planned them? Nope, it's not possible. So something that concerned me originally was being able to make this connection to here and fit my drill in here between this can light and I tested it and it's not, it's not possible for me. I guess alternative B here, I'm going to cut another two by four and sandwich it with this one and run it parallel across like that. That way, whenever I go to attach this bracket, I'll be attaching it into this piece, which I'm not concerned about structurally at all. And then the other screw or lag bolt is gonna end up going into this piece that I'm getting ready to sandwich in here. And the only thing that kind of gives me hope is I'm gonna be able to fasten it in several different places down through here and I'm gonna have these members now, which I don't believe hold much structural support, but I think they will hold a little bit. I will have them holding as well, so um, that's just gonna be for one bracket, and then we'll resort, resort back to plan A. Once I get this bracket installed, we'll be able to go over here and do the two by six like I was originally wanting to do. That big concern there was being able to fit a three inch 
screw and my drill in like this and be able to So step one's done. Now I measured off of here, 52 inches across, and that doesn't put me in this bay, which I originally thought I was gonna be, but in the next one. So now I'm gonna find my center between these two points, and then we'll measure for the cross member, and hopefully get that taken care of, and then we'll be waiting on the brackets to come in to finish the process. So here is the Two by six that I've been talking about, this is my original plan. Okay. So we got our two by six placed. All right, so I'm back up here, and hopefully this time I'm in my right mind. I have to thinking about this. I've been working on it periodically, and I don't really understand what I was thinking whenever I installed this board, other than the fact that I thought my width was going to be good for the bracket, but when I got the bracket in, it's actually a little bit wider than than what I was thinking. So I am going to have to run this board across in between joists, just like that one over there. I originally didn't do that because of this light, this can light that was here, and I couldn't fit my drill in there to get it anchored. So. What I'm gonna do now is remove that can light, just pull it out of place, and then install the board correctly like I wanted to the first time, so. a Couple steps backwards, but we're back up here working, so hopefully by the end of the day we'll be going the other way. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you can see that I got the porch swing hung up. Unfortunately, I've skipped a few steps forward here. I completed this the other night uh, in the dark and I kind of got in the middle of it and it was one of those things where I wasn't expecting to work on it very long and then I got involved in it and it just it kept going and going and I was to the point where I was like, well, I might as well finish it tonight and just get the process completed and kind of put the, the camera aside and went ahead and got the job done, but I'm gonna do my best to go ahead and describe exactly what I did. And I'll even pop a few diagrams in here to hopefully help explain um, my reasoning for what I've done and help you out if you are in the same scenario that I'm in. But you can see this kit that I bought on Amazon. It comes with a couple lag bolts and a bracket and then a spring which I really liked. I thought that that spring really helps dampen whenever you sit down and kind of absorbs the load a little bit better than it would if it were just connected to an eye bolt. So that's kind of why I went with the, the spring system and all that stuff came together. I'll link it in the description so that um, you can purchase these. I think these are a, a really good set of brackets here instead of just having a regular old fashioned eye bolt hook coming through there. So pretty happy with how it turned out. One thing that I totally just gave up on and whenever that can light's there, I can't really do much uh, to get it in the right spot because that can light takes up the, the space in between trusses. So I didn't really have anywhere to put a structural support there. And that was kind of the limiting decision on why it's offset here, but it really did line up good in the center. Um, this direction between here. So I'm happy with it as far as it, how it turned out. And basically, once you get to the bracket, you've gotta make a few measurements here. And I had to take this can light out so that I had a space here that I could reach up into and measure to find my previously placed structural support across. So that gave me a good measuring point and I was able to feel actually where the stud was at and then I used a stud finder to actually locate it and then it marked. I marked here and here, found the center. Then I pre-drilled holes for my bolts. All of these instructions here actually come with the bracket installation. So it's gonna be up to whoever manufactures that to give you instructions on that. But this was a pretty simple process as far as pre-drilling a small hole into that vinyl ceiling 
and then you come back with a wood bit not a wood bit but a a pre-drilled hole for the lag bolt a little bit bigger and then you come back with a socket and put those lag bolts in pretty tight up there to the ceiling you don't want to go too tight because then it starts sucking in your vinyl ceiling but I mean it was it was pretty easy as far as that goes it was just the hard work initially to get these supports in here um, that run you can picture a truss going like this every I think they were two foot centers all the way across so I all I did was have that support like this that I had to put up and then I found it here measured over my 50 inches which this is a a four foot wide swing and from what I read about on the inter internet and my research was that about two inches on each side one to two inches on each side help uh, the swing process and not having it purely vertical helps keeping these chains from rubbing on the swing too much so this is 48 inches I believe I added an inch on each side I found my center there and I measured over my distance there 50 inches and that's how I got the spacing on those brackets and the supports above so if you guys have any questions on this video which I'm sure there will be a ton go ahead drop them in the comments and if you'd like to see more kind of uh, home improvement videos as we're going about renovating our house it would also be helpful to know um, that I'm not just wasting my time with a few of these but I figured it was something that would be worth posting I spent I don't know a couple months thinking about how this process was going to go down and it's uh, great to see it actually come to life here and get it finished out so thanks for watching